Wow, this very interesting question given to us is the height of triangle is 8 cm. The diameter of this blue and purple circle which are touching the sides of the triangle and this height is 6 cm and 4 cm each. Exciting part is with this limited data we have to find area of this triangle. Okay, let's check the solution for it. We'll use one theorem to solve the full question. That is, in case of a circle, the two tangents drawn from the external point, they are equal in length. That is for this blue circle, if I'm drawing two tangents from point B, that is BD and BH, they will be equal in length. So if BD length is X centimeter, then BH length, that will be same X centimeter. Same in case of this purple circle, from point C, if I'm drawing two tangents, so this FC length, if I'm taking as Y centimeter, then this CG length, this will be same as Y centimeter. That's from external point, the length of two tangents are equal. Let's see if we can find the remaining lengths in this triangle. So here blue circle, the radius is three centimeter. So DE length, that will be same three centimeter. And here this height, that will be same as the radius of this blue circle or three centimeter. How about this remaining pink length? That will be eight minus three or five centimeter. But this pink length, it's a tangent from point A. And from external point, when we are drawing these two tangents, they have to be equal in length. So AH will be same as five centimeter. That is eight minus three. Now let's consider this purple circle. Its radius is two centimeter. EF length, that will be two centimeter. And this height here, that will be same two centimeter. So from point A, this particular length will be eight minus two or six centimeter. Now this pink length, which is six centimeter, is tangent from point A to the purple circle and thus this length of another tangent AG that will be same as 6 cm. Now we have got length all the side lengths of this triangle. Let's consider this right angle triangle AEB in this applying Pythagoras theorem. So we'll get base that is x plus 3 whole square plus this height which is 8. So plus 8 square is hypotenuse square which is x plus 5 square simplifying it applying a plus b whole square formula so we'll get x square plus 3 square which is 9 plus 2 times of 3 times x that is 6x six plus 64 this is equals to again same x square plus 25 plus 10x now solving it so x square in both the sides this will get cancelled down taking all the x terms on one side. So taking x terms in LHS, we get 6x minus 10x and without x terms on the RHS. So that is 25 minus 73. Solving it, we'll get x as 12 centimeter. Now same way, solving for value of y. For that, we'll consider the triangle AEC. Again, in this triangle applying Pythagoras theorem, we'll get y plus 2 square plus 8 square is 6 plus y square. Applying a plus b whole square formula, so we'll get y square plus 4 plus 4x, sorry, 4y plus 64 is y square plus 36 plus 12y. Solving it here, both the side y square will get cancelled down. Taking all y terms in LHS and without y terms in RHS, we'll get equation in this form. Solving it, we'll get value of y as 4 cm. Now that we have got value of x and y, let's find the area of triangle. We know area of triangle is nothing but half of base into height. Here base is BC, height is AE. Height we know this is 8 cm. How about BC? So BC will be X that is 12 plus 3 plus 2 plus 
y which is 4. So putting this that is 16 plus 5 that is 21. So area of this triangle is half of 21 times 8. Solving it, so we'll get area of this triangle as 84 centimeter square and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye. Thank you.